Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And we're continuing here in Connor and Kells. And we're actually at Connor Village at the moment. And as you can see, uh, there's a painting of a wolf. And of course, it reminds us of the, the Irish name of Connor, which is actually uh, Wild Dog and uh, Oakwood. And so there you can see a picture of the Wild Dog which is a wolf, of course. But the reason why we're here today is because we're going to look at the connection between uh, Kells and Connor with the uh, 1798 rebellion, because there is a big connection. And if you remember in another video that I've done here, we looked at uh, Robert Morrison. Of course, Robert Morrison was a United Irishman and he fled to America, but he uh, was also John Wayne's great, great grandfather. And of course he was uh, baptized in Connor Press Batarian. And so he fled to America because there was a, a warrant out for his arrest. And uh, he fled to America in 1801. And I've done a wee video on that, so you can check that one out. Now, in common with many of the Presbyterians in Mid-Antrim, the people of Connor and Kells were actually engaged in the 1798 rebellion of the United Irish men and one source states that they were almost to a man engaged in the rebellion. All of the local mill owners, the rich and respectable were involved as were also the ministers. And there's a wee man fishing here, uh, I see by the river and so I'm gonna show you him and this is the wee man here. <laughs> He's doing a spot of fishing, as you can see. Now, while Henry Joy McCracken was attacking Antrim on the 7th of June, 1798, 500 men from Kells and Connor successfully attacked and actually captured uh, Rondellstown. And in the aftermath of the failure of the rebellion, a guerrilla campaign was actually waged by... Uh, it was actually waged through the Glenwarry, which is not too far from here, the, the district Glenwarry and also the Braid Valley. And that was waged by a number of local uh, insurgents who actually refused a pardon. And one of these men was called Daniel English, and he was actually hung from Connor Bridge here after a court martial had found him uh, guilty at Ballymena in his part of the rebellion. And so you can see the bridge here. And the river is fast flowing today. And so Daniel was actually hung here from this bridge for his part in the rebellion. And you can see Connor Presbyterian Church there just beside it. And I'm going to be doing a wee video on uh, the Presbyterian Church shortly. Now, he was attended at the scaffold by the Formisky born minister William. Stavely and Formisky is actually just out the road, it's not too far from here. Just get across this road. And Stavely was actually born in 1743 and he died in 1825. He's known as the Apostle of uh, the Covenanters. And of course, if you remember, I've done a video on Alexander Peden, who's known as the prophet of the uh, Covenanters. Well, Stavely was known as the Apostle of the Covenanters. And he was a Presbyterian minister who uh, preached throughout Ulster. And I'm just going to show you now the uh, other side of the bridge. And he's actually buried at Kells Water. Now, another United Irish man uh, who's actually from Connor is David Woods. And he was ha hung at Doak, which again isn't too far from Connor. And he's actually remembered in an anonymous song of the period. And it goes, ye lovers of union, and Connor behold, the scenes of his youth where he thought to grow old, and then it goes on. And so that's Connor's connection with the uh, 1798 rebellion, and also the United Irish men. And of course, Daniel English was hung here at Connor Bridge. And so quite a bit of history in Kells and Connor. And don't forget to check out the other videos um, that I have done and I will also be covering 
uh, some more on the 1859 revival today. So again, thank you for watching. And if you enjoy the channel, please like and subscribe. And if you hit the notification bell, then every time I upload a video, video you will be uh, notified. God bless.